Good morning, teachers and students. It's time for our morning announcements. I know you've been missing these announcements, and I've been missing reading them, but here they are. I did get a chance to watch that talent show video. Great job to all of our students. You are so talented, so amazing, so exciting. I didn't know some of you had that great of a voice, or some of you had all those skills deep inside of you, but that was awesome watching you. And it was even a little funny watching myself and some of the other teachers show us their talents. But we have a very gifted, gifted school, and hopefully you're able to get the chance to watch that video yourself on Facebook. I've been asked about the yearbook several times, and yes, we are getting a yearbook together, and we are trying to get it ready by the end of the school year. So if you have any pictures at home, get those sent in to myself or Mrs. Donner, and we'll be happy to put those in the yearbook and enjoy some of the things that are going on in your house. Hopefully we'll have a delivery date by the end of the school year so that we can see those yearbooks. So we're trying to get that done. That'll depend on our publishing company, but hopefully we can get those ready for you. Some ideas have been rolling around in our heads about the awards, and it seems like we've come to a decision that we're going to try and do like a track and field day once we can all get outside and get um, into our normal routines as much as possible. But we're going to try to have an award ceremony with a track and field day combination so all of our families can get together safely but have a good time seeing one another. So that's been asked and I wanted to get that out there. And also this week if you looked at your calendar we were scheduled for a food drive. So what we're going to do is we're going to get some donation bins for our uh, Lighthouse food drive, uh, the place that we donate the food to. And we'll have those available for when you drop off and pick up packets. If you're in third grade and above and you just want to stop by the office and drop them off in the bins, we'll have those available for you. I'd like to get some food out there. I know they're in need, and I know it's a big demand right now. So if we can be a help to our community, that would be great. Um, also, this chapel message will be going live at about 11 o'clock. So hopefully you're watching that as well and we have two yes two special birthdays coming up one is today which is Thursday because I'm recording this a day early today is Joshua Melvin's birthday so you can wish him a happy birthday maybe on Facebook text any way that you can get him that message so wish him a happy birthday and also and uh, I think it's on Saturday is Mrs. Angela Flex's birthday so she's going to be celebrating a birthday as well, right near Joshua Melvin's birthday. So if you can get her a birthday wish, I'm sure she would appreciate it for that day. That's all of my announcements, so everybody have a great day. Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to our first video chapel. I hope you guys are going to enjoy this. I am here because I'm going to sing a couple songs with you, so hopefully you'll help me sing. The first one we're going to do is J-O-Y, which I know several of you like this. So let's sing it out loud and sing it proud. Are you ready? I've got joy down in my heart, deep, deep down in my heart, J-O-Y down in my heart, deep deep down in my heart. Jesus gave it to me, and no one can destroy it. I've got joy down in my heart, deep, deep down in my heart. Okay, and another one I know that you guys love to sing is Apple Red Happiness. So let's sing Apple Red Happiness before Mr. Wagner comes. Are you ready? Here we go. Apple red happiness, popcorn cheerfulness, cinnamon singing inside. Peppermint energy, gumdrop holiday, when you give Christ your life. Okay, sit back and enjoy now. See you guys later. Well, students, since you've been gone, I've had some extra time and space to where I wouldn't hurt anybody to work on a new skill that I have and that's called teleportation. It's kind of my own superpower that I have. So 
I'm going to see if I can show you my new teleportation powers. And to do that, it seems like I've forgotten my glasses in another room. So I'm going to go teleport. Maybe I left them in my office. So let's see if they're in my office. We're going to teleport there very quickly, take a look around. So are you ready? Here we go. Does anybody see my glasses around my office? Does anybody see them? I don't think they're here. Well, teleportation just isn't speed. It's not about speed. It's just basically traveling from one spot to another just by thinking about it. So maybe I left them in another room. Let me go check the teacher's lounge. I was there earlier today. Let me go see if they're in the teacher's lounge. Well, I'm here. That was quick, wasn't it? So let's see, are they around in the teacher's lounge anywhere? Does anybody see them? Maybe they're under the desk. Anybody see them out there? I can't see them. I can't see very well without my glasses. Huh. Well, let's jump over to Let's jump over to the, let's see, where else was I today? Hmm, maybe they're in Mrs. Reinhardt's room. Let's go check. Here we are. Looks like we made it. We're gonna have to look around here. Let's see if anything's here. I was over here for a little bit. Does anybody see my glasses? Does anybody see them anywhere? Like there's a bunch of empty desks, but I don't see any glasses. Hmm. Let's see. Anybody see them? Hmm. Well, I've got one more place in mind that I was at earlier. Maybe they're just across the hall. No, no, wait. I was in Mrs. Grant's room earlier. Let's go take a look in there. Well, we're here already. That was quick, wasn't it? Let's take a look around. Does anybody see it? Anybody see my glasses? Hmm. I'm looking, I'm looking. I don't see them in here. I wonder where else I could have left them. Hmm. Well, let me check across the hall. Maybe they're in Mrs. McLaren's room. Well, that was super fast because it was right across the hall. We didn't have to travel far. Anybody see them in here? Maybe they're in this clothes basket over here. Mm, no, no. Up on the shelves. No. Maybe they're with the uh, figures over here. No. Well, there's one more spot I was today. Maybe they're there. Maybe they're in the office. Let's go see. Ready? Teleport. Here we go. Hmm, see if you can help me find them. I'm having a hard time seeing. I gotta squint. Take a look around and see if you can see them. Anybody? Anybody see them? I was in here doing announcements earlier. Maybe they're in here. Does anybody see them? What? You see them? Where are they? Oh, on the counter? On the counter. Let's see. Ah, here they are. So let's see if I can teleport my glasses on. I'm going to take them from the counter, teleport them on, see if I can get them to go onto my face. Ready? Three, two, one. There they are. Teleportation worked. So let's get into our lesson today. In order to do that, we're going to go back to the library where we were, now that I have my glasses. So we're going to teleport there very quickly, and then I'll get going with my lesson. Well, I'm back. So let's get into our lesson for today, now that I have my glasses and I can see my Bible. I hope you enjoyed the teleporting we did around the building, and I hope you got to see a little quick example 
of what teleporting is, but also get an idea of what the school looks like without you here. I wish you were all here, but you can't be, and hope you're all safe at home. But let's enjoy a quick challenge from God's Word. If you remember, our lifetime uh, theme for this year was Grow in Gratitude. Grow in Gratitude. It's very ironic that we have that theme this year because many times we um, we look back at the past month and a half and we think of the things we've gone without and how can we be thankful for the things that we've been without. And so many times we forget about the things that we have. And um, the Lord led us this year to go with that theme, but it's been real easy to see how we can easily grow out of gratitude. But today I want to look at us how we can grow into gratitude and how we can develop some gratitude even during some times like these. So who remembers who remembers what the F was in our lifetime? Remember we spelled out L I F E and each letter had a meaning. My letter for this year was F. How many remember what that letter stood for? Anybody out there? Anybody? Anybody? I see a few hands out there. How about, let's see, how about Isaiah? Are you up, right there? Yeah, Isaiah, how about you? No, no, no. Wasn't that, not, not that. Uh, let's see, anybody else out there? Let's go with, um, uh, let's see, somebody, let's go with somebody in first grade. How about Carson? Carson, what do you think? Yes, that's it, Carson. Fortunate, fortunate, very good. So we are very fortunate to live in this day and age. And like I said earlier, a lot of times we've been without things. Maybe you had a favorite place you like to eat, and now you can't go there, go inside and sit down and eat, but you have to eat at home, but you are you should be happy that you are able to have food at home. Maybe there's a special someone that you wanted to see. Maybe there's somebody that you wanted to talk to. But you just couldn't go see them. But maybe for their health or maybe for your own health. Maybe you're sheltered in place. Have to be at home. And maybe you can't go there. But you should be fortunate for those around you that you can see and that you can talk to. Maybe there's a certain place you would like to go. I know now it's getting a little bit warmer. Several of you love to go different places. But maybe there's a place you want to go, but you just can't go there yet. Maybe you just need to be thinking about, you know what? I'm so happy that I have a safe home. That I have a place to be. That I have loving parents and people that take care of me. And they want me to be safe and they want me to be um, comforted during this time. And maybe we can think of things like that. But there is a good way and the best way to show that you have gratitude. How many of you out there have had, raise your hands if you have had somebody do something for you this last month. Oh yeah, several of you, I see. Several of you have had things done for you this last month. Your parents made you meals. They got you things. They went to the store for you. They maybe even took you on a car ride. Maybe took you outside to play or to somebody's house that maybe you were able to go to. Um, maybe your parents took you there. And there's one way that we can show gratitude that is that goes beyond maybe just saying thank you but there's a way we can show gratitude and that is through our kindness through our kindness now I started this little video with us teleporting around how many of you would love to have a superpower I was thinking about having superpowers and I thought you know what the superpower that would be awesome is to be able to travel wherever I wanted to go at the speed of thought As soon as I thought about it I could go there it would be at an instant, just like that. We would be sitting there, we would be, maybe I was standing here and I thought about being in my office, and boom, I'm in my office. Maybe I'm sitting at my dinner table at home, and I want to be, you know, somewhere else in sunny Florida, and boom, 
I think about it and I'm there. Wouldn't that be a cool superpower to have? Maybe some of you would like to have um, certain superpowers. How many of you remember that superpower that I talked about and we showed earlier in the video? How many of you remember that particular superpower? Raise your hand if you think you remember. Let's see, let's see. Uh, somebody here in the front. Grace, what do you think? What do you think that superpower was? Um, no, no, no. It wasn't super strength. No, that's not right. Uh, anybody else? Anybody else? How about, uh, let's go to the second grader, second grader. Hunter, what do you think? What do you think that superpower was? What do you remember it as? Oh, you're close. Not quite super speed. It has to go with being somewhere fast. But it wasn't called super speed. Not like Flash. My son really likes Flash. And we watch episodes of that sometimes. But how many of you remember? How many can remember what that superpower was? How about the birthday boy in the back? Josh. What do you think that superpower was? Yes, you're right. Teleporting. Teleporting is what it is. That's correct. So, teleporting is the idea of just getting somewhere quickly. But you know what? You all have a superpower. Maybe it's not strength. Maybe it's not speed. Maybe it's not even the ability to mind control. But we all have a superpower that we can use, and that's kindness. You ever been kind to somebody? And it's made a difference in their day. Maybe you could tell mom and dad a kind word that says, you know what, thanks mom and dad for what you've done. I'm sure that would lift their spirits and make them feel so much better if you just said some kind words like thank you. We can show kindness by doing things. Maybe your room's a mess. Maybe you left a mess in the, the living room. Maybe you left a mess at the dining room table. Maybe you can help clean up and take care of things. That's kindness. Maybe you can make a phone call to somebody who misses you. Maybe you can call grandma. Maybe you can call one of your relatives or friends and just say hi and talk to them for a little bit because they miss you just like you miss them. And maybe that kindness can go a long ways with that person. You know, maybe... Maybe if you have the opportunity, you can just do a kind deed. Maybe do a kind deed for your neighbor. Maybe do a kind need, deed for somebody else that's around you. Have you ever thought of maybe just calling somebody and singing a song to them? I heard some great songs in that talent show video, and I heard some great singers. Maybe you could just share your song with somebody and share that little bit with them, and that can make their day. Sharing your talents, sharing your gifts, just sharing kind words shows gratitude. Have you ever done anything for somebody and they didn't show gratitude? Maybe you picked something up off the floor for somebody and they didn't even say thank you. How did that make you feel? I know it's hard and I know it's not easy to do, but the Bible teaches us in Galatians 3.17... Sorry, Colossians 3.17. The Bible says, And whatsoever ye do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God and the Father by Him. In everything we're to give thanks. Even during this time where we're in our homes right now doing things, we need to give thanks. We need to be thankful, show gratitude for what we have, not what we don't have. That's a great reminder for us. Go show somebody some gratitude today. Get up from watching this chapel message and show some gratitude, maybe even to a brother or sister, maybe to a family member, maybe to somebody on the phone. Just show some gratitude. Let's pray. Dear Lord, we thank you for this day. We thank you for the opportunity to show some gratitude. Lord, thank you for the reminder of being willing to show being able to show gratitude to others. Lord, help us to be thankful. Help us to be thankful for the things we do have, not the things that we don't. Lord, you are so gracious to us, and we thank you for dying on the cross for our sins. Give us a great day, 
and get, thank you for this great time of chapel. Help each person to be safe. Help them to be kind to their parents and family. And Lord, just help us to return safely back to school someday, Lord, when, when you have the plan for that and you are ready for us to return. We just ask for your blessing in your name. Amen. Well, thank you for joining us for chapel. I hope you had a great time. And I hope you got to finally feel a little bit more normal with having a chapel. And we just ask that you'll stay safe. Look forward to seeing you sometime soon. And enjoy the rest of this spring-like weather that we're having coming up. Have a great day. Now for a special announcement from our teachers and staff. Hi, guys. I hope that you're doing well. wanted you to know that we miss you, we love you, and can't wait to see you sometime soon. Hi everybody, I just want to say that I miss you so much and I've been praying for you and I am super proud of all of you for doing such a great job with all of your work and doing all your work online and all your papers at home and turning them in. You guys have been doing a super job. Keep up the hard work. We only have three weeks to go and I cannot wait to see you guys again. Bye. Mrs. Lowry, just wanting to say hello to everybody, and I miss you. I miss the hustle and bustle of all the things that are happening in our school, all the fun things, all the schoolwork, and I especially miss my kindergarten class. I want to let you know that I am praying for you, and to remember, always obey the first time you're told, and smile. Make it a good day. Hi, SCA uh, students. Um, hope you're staying safe at home and you are um, a, uh, enjoying spending extra time with your family. Um, and hopefully you can get outside and enjoy God's creation. Miss you all very, very much. Hi, Springfield. Hope everyone's having a good day. Hope you enjoy the chapel that we put together and wanted to just stop by and say hi and that we miss you and that we're all thinking of you. We'll see you soon. Bye. Hi, everyone. It's Mrs. Grant. Just wanted to let you know how much I miss you guys, and I just pray that you guys are doing well. Keep doing a great job on all your schoolwork, and I hope that you guys are having some fun time outside and fun time with your family. I can't wait till we can see each other again. I love all of you, and I will hopefully see you all soon. Bye. Hi, boys and girls. I just want to say hello. And that I miss all of you. I pray for you and I hope that you're doing very well in your schoolwork at home and that you're not giving your substitute teachers a hard time when you're doing your work. But have fun, keep pressing on, and it's almost May and school time will be over. Bye. Hi kiddos, it's Mrs. Anna Flat from the office. I just thought I would uh, share something encouraging with you with our little bit of time that we have together. Um, I know that having school at home is probably a super difficult challenge for you and you're learning a lot and how to have a normal school day at home with mom and dad it might be a little difficult. Um, but I just wanted to encourage you that God knows, he sees your heart and he sees what you're doing. Um, and whenever I have like a hard time or a hard day, I like to look at encouraging messages or an encouraging saying. So that's something that I have here in my kitchen I wanted to share with you. It's this letter board back here I change every couple of months. And it says, you have been assigned this mountain to show others it can be moved. And that just means that sometimes God gives you specific trials or a specific task or tests in your life that he wants you to overcome. And by you doing that and following through on God's plan for you, you kind of can be a testimony to others um, on how they could do the same thing or how that it's possible um, because they've seen you move that mountain with God's help. So I just wanted that to be an encouragement to you. Keep plugging away at home. Keep doing the best you can. We're almost done with the school year. Keep moving those mountains and hopefully we'll see you guys really soon. Bye. Thank you all for joining us. We miss you all. Have a great day.